on here. Very good morning to all of you. Uh, hope you are doing well. It's about 10.25. We'll begin at 10.30. Uh, Kritika can't hear me. My microphone is on. I'm also sharing my whiteboard now. Yeah, can other people hear me? Yes, other people can hear me. So, uh, Kritika, maybe you have to uh, unmute something on your computer or mobile phone, wherever you are. Thanks, Pradeep, for the feedback. Okay, before we start, uh, let me just take you around and I'll just show you where exactly I am on the campus. Yeah. So, those who have joined early, this is one good kick, one bonus that you get. I'm going to take you around. Yeah. One second. Let's, yes. Let me take this off. Yes. So, well, these are the staircases. Uh, that goes up really up so every level has classrooms and uh, on top there's a sports blog there's library there are other things now i will take you around now these are the exterior of the classrooms you can see those mountains there i believe you'll be able to see let me see yeah of course you can see those mountains yeah and that's the reception block. Well, yesterday I was, I conduct the class from there. From there, I conducted the class yesterday. And these are mountains all over. You can see lots of. I am back now. Yay. Did you enjoy the view? Nothing. Network. Uh, yes, the class is going to be in the, at the same time every day. Uh, well, we are not sending too many emails. Uh, we have more than 500 names and it will all otherwise uh, get spammed so i think it's understood the class is going to be the same the link is going to be the same same time in the morning and the same time in the evening it's 10 29 video gone uh, can pradeep can you help dalip uh, dalip uh, dalip bhai Hi, Tara. Hello, Nitya. Okay, we'll start in a minute. It's 10.29 right now. We already have 42 parties, 44 participants now. Uh, another minute and we'll begin. Those who just joined in the last minute, I just took uh, everybody around in the sense, at least the views, which is right, in front of me, this beautiful mountains here. I'm going to take, uh, towards the end of the class, I am going to take you around. If you're interested, I'll show you something more. Uh, today, we have a very important webinar with the architect. He's uh, Forbes 30 under 30 Asia, and he, is, he has basically designed this campus. And uh, the topic of today's discussion is how to build an university in, in the wild, right? Those who are free, please come to the Vijay Bhumi page. You'll get a link. And maybe I'll share the link here also and email you the link immediately after the, the conversation is over. And uh, please do log in. It's absolutely free. And you can ask any questions to him. He's one of the most promising architects of today's era. 
Fantastic. We have 50 participants and it's 10.30. A very, very good morning to all of you. Hope you are enjoying uh, drawing and you have been drawing things, pets, people, um, objects at home. Yeah. Great. So how many drawings have you done since yesterday's session? Can we have that, uh, some numbers, please? Six, three, 13, no, sorry, 15. Uh, okay, Himanshu was not able to join yesterday. Arpit says 10 to 12. Arpit, you're a rock star. Snigdha, four portraits and three objects. That's seven, that's fantastic. Uh, Every day there'll be sessions, Sunil. Till the lockdown continues, we're going to have these sessions every day, 45 minutes, nine. That's wonderful. Well, so today I am going to give you my number. You can actually start sharing your work uh, with me directly. You uh, WhatsApp me, whatever you're doing. Why WhatsApp? Because if you email, then there will be like, the file size is going to be very, very big. What WhatsApp does is it compresses uh, the image so that I can, because I also have limited access here and uh, uh, it will be easy for me to access and give you individual feedback on whatever you are doing yeah so that today we are going to learn something very very interesting yeah uh, we are going to uh, learn something called perspective the term came in uh, the first uh, three days and i said Ki, we are going to learn that later perspective is uh, basically how we see things you know when we are in the middle of a railway track what do we see we actually see the both tracks they actually go and meet somewhere somewhere there's a vanishing point out there then actually in reality they actually never meet but it appears to meet right so so that's uh, uh, that happens with when you are there's a line of buildings next to each other it appears that the buildings are getting smaller 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 until it actually goes to a point where we can actually call that a vanishing point. Now that's the terminology you have to uh, remember. Vanishing point, it's called VP in short. Yeah. Why using VP? Because we're going to have VP1, VP2 and VP3 at a later stage, not today. Today we're dealing with only one vanishing point. Yeah. So what happens is, I believe you're able to see the entire screen. Yes, you can. Fantastic. Now, this is an exercise all of you have to do. That's basically what you do is you draw a line. Okay. Uh, even if line is not straight, it's absolutely fine. You try to make it straight. As of now, do not use uh, scale or any other support to make it straight. So you draw a line, okay? This line is called, that's your horizon. Uh, remember one thing, your horizon stays with you. Now, I'm going to repeat that. I, that will make much more sense at a later stage. But to begin with, your horizon remains with you forever. Forever means from your birth to your death, this horizon stays with you. What does it mean? Even if you are in a, unless you go out of space, things changes. Till the time you are within the space, even while you are uh, in a flight, if you're in the middle, uh, if you're in the aisle seat, you'll be able to see the horizon, blurred horizon, but through your left window and through your right window. Yeah. Your horizon stays at your level only. Even if you climb to 30th floor, your horizon is at your level, right? So just remember this um, uh, and, and believe me in the sense, <laughs> do not disagree on this. Just a, a proposition in the sense to assume that I am whatever I am saying is true and we'll converse that. And I'll tell you where we change our narrative. Yeah? Fantastic. So we have 70 participants. Welcome all of you who have joined in the last few minutes. Request to all of you. We are already five minutes into uh, this. Please join me on time. I would start and finish on time every day. Yeah, that's a promise from my side. So this line, let's call it the H line. The horizon line. Can you hear? Uh, you can see. 
Now, there's something called vanishing point. Like, just choose a point somewhere. It's called vanishing point. Yeah. Now, what happens is if you draw random squares, square, not rectangle, yeah. Supposing you draw a smaller one, you draw a bigger one, even bigger than this. You keep drawing squares all over the paper. Okay, this is one exercise that you have to do. You can draw square even here, why not? Okay, just try and draw as many stars. You can actually just look at it right now. I'm going to give you time to, to, to draw. Just look at it so that you do not miss out any details. Yeah? So this is, these are squares. Now, what you have to do is, there's a vanishing point and these are squares. Right now, these are squares. All you have to do is you have to convert it into uh, cubes. Okay, Prashant, what does Prashant say? Horizon is always at the eye level, right? Absolutely. So that's what I'm saying. Your horizon stays with you. That's at your eye level. That's correct. Yes. So first you have drawn the edge line. That's the horizon. Then what you have drawn is the mini squares. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this with this square. So again, do not use scale. Huh. Even if it goes wrong, it's perfectly fine, right? So you... Okay. Now there will be lines which will come like this. There will be line which will come like this. All you have to do is join the nearest corners, the two corners which are nearest to the uh, uh, the the vanishing point. Yeah. Now, sometimes you'll have three lines, like from here also, from there, there are three lines. And many times you'll have just two. Like you have three here, right? But you'll have two here because you can't touch the last one, okay? So here it is. So all you have to do is do it with your pencil and, and it's an exercise that you have to constantly repeat till your eyes are set. I hope I'm visible to all. Yes, I am. Okay, so. Okay, so I have touched almost all possible uh, corners. Okay, now the, 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 the best part which is going to happen is now. You have to do is, uh, hey Pratik, Pratik Praveen, the main screen is totally black. Ouch. Uh, uh, what about other people? Uh, Dalip, uh, these screens on the bottom left that you have, you can minimize it at your end. Pavni and Aarti says I'm visible and it's fine. Screen is okay. Fantastic. Thanks, Sushmi. Great. So basically what we have, I have done is I have started with an edge line. That's the horizontal line. I've started with vanishing point. And then I have made some random squares. While doing the squares, all I have to remember that these vertical lines are absolutely vertical. When I say vertical, that means parallel to the edge of this paper. When I'm saying horizontal should be absolutely horizontal, that basically means it should be parallel to the top end of the paper or the bottom end of the paper, right? And the edge line, edge line also has to be absolutely horizontal. Yeah. Now, once I have done, then I have connected whatever the possible corners to the center. Now, the thing is, now you have to judge yourself. Now, that's this is the drawing up to this is absolutely fine and easy. Now comes your judgment part. You have to train your eyes to be able to judge that it's a cube. Now you do not have to cut it like a cuboid. Now remember what I'm saying. 
suppose in here where do i cut it i have to cut this somewhere here now that's a judgment that we have to do it's a it's a, it's a judgment correct so i've got a cube here if i would have cut a little before that or after that it would have probably become a cuboid yeah now you see if i if you have a pencil and if you are tempted to do a little bit of rendering this is how the entire cube would look like yeah and you have you can actually blur these lines which is away from you right slightly tempted you can always do this that's a good fun so you'll have a better judgment in terms of if that is a proper cube or not right here's the judgment you have to cut it somewhere here so this 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 is something which will come out with the practice yeah that's the cube that you have this that's the kind of thing that's a this a little drawing problem but you can make out how things are right anyway so this is how things are going to be you have to can erase these lines make the cubes prominent so the same thing you have to cut all the cubes okay okay suppose if i cut it here what would happen this will look like a cuboid now we do not want cuboid right we want cube so i have to cut it i have to see like where exactly it will be like a cube so that's how this is the this is the part where you are actually training your eyes yeah so now if i rub this part and have only this part so i that looks like a cube right yeah so that's that's how it is and then i can actually have multiple cubes i can have another one here another one next to that and next to that so that's how yeah so there are lots of cubes in the so you can actually start playing now you can have multiple cubes okay it will almost look like a railway track now yeah this is this is single point perspective this in terminology it's called one point perspective yeah so for every line that you have you can actually extract a cube out of it and you can actually extract many cubes out of it right and have n number of cubes okay so so what i'm saying is uh you have to remember um didn't get you at this point okay you got the point uh akansha can't understand okay can you ask me specifically what you can't understand i will i'll keep repeating anyways uh, because there it's it's if it's something absolutely new for you it might take a little time for you to understand yeah okay fantastic so 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 what i have done is i actually drew the edge line that's the horizontal line i picked up a point uh, which i say i called vp that's vp1 uh, vanishing point and from there i just left it as it is then i randomly drew lots of squares uh i'll take you close in case you can see so there's a lot of squares here and uh, then what uh, 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 what did i do i actually connected the nearest point all the points of the square corner all the corners of the square to the center that's the vanishing point right once i did that then i actually uh, cut it like which is basically by visual judgment uh, to make it look like a cube yeah uh, okay uh, for everybody who uh, who is who is probably seeing this for the first time uh, what you have to do is you have to draw a minimum of 20 drawings 20 pages of this yeah 
not 20 squares by the way every uh, uh, page will have uh, at least a minimum of 10 squares minimum of 10 maximum of 15 uh, and then you have to do 20 pages of it and that's how you're going to go to the next level uh, it will get very complex at some point of time when we actually see things yeah today i have purposely selected uh, this particular uh, place for the class the reason being uh, there's a lot of perspective here right you see these lines on top all these lines they are actually going to vanish at some point yeah there's a line below the rcc level there are lines here at the bottom uh, there are staircases all those things has perspective in it yeah and uh, there is there is a kind of if I, if I have to hold it straight so you see a perspective very very you see a single point perspective actually yeah? this is like how it is i'll just okay so i go back so, okay have to be louder now what It is. <clears throat> we are going to look at these drawings around, uh, around your house, within your house, uh, on the chair, uh, the stools, the other things. But right now, what I want you to do is draw this particular. My sound got interrupted. <sighs> Sorry. Is my voice clear now? I'll be slightly louder. Okay, thanks. Thanks. So uh, basically what uh, we're going to do is we're going to do this. Now I want you take five, seven minutes now, now and try to draw. Okay, I'll give you five minutes. Just draw whatever and, and see if you have because I want you to why I want you to draw is I want you to face issues right now. And so that I can tell you so that you don't struggle for the next 24 hours, right? So Yes, good morning. All the lines inside the squares are vertical and horizontal. Absolutely, Dinesh, absolutely. Uh, the vertical lines has to be vertical lines. The two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. Remember, we are only going to do squares. We're not doing a uh, rectangle. So the horizontal line has to be equal with the vertical line. Yeah? And then we're going to connect it with the vanishing point. Yeah, start drawing, please start drawing. And I only would, I am not going to look at your drawing right now that I'm going to give you a number and you are going to, um, Lika Didi ask, it is clear till the square meters, a square meets the vanishing point. Fantastic. So let me repeat, Didi, what happens is, uh, the square meets the vanishing point. Uh, once that is done, I am going to cut it uh, with my own judgment so that it's a cube. The square square becomes three dimensional. Suppose in, for example, I have cut this here. If I would cut this there or here, it will not remain a cube. What would it would become a cuboid? So this is a judgment that you have to do, and there will be a little struggle in the first uh, at least three four seats that, that that is going to go wasted that's absolutely fine right and then uh, what you do is you have, you have to make it look like it should be your judgment nobody else's so that you know there'll be error in your judgment in the beginning suddenly you'll be able to crack suddenly and it's it's a beautiful feeling inside the time you are able to crack yeah what do i draw uh mana uh draw uh now this is this is you're not drawing from an object this is an exercise you are not even imagining anything i have take your page in the center of the page draw a edge line horizontal line put a center in, in between and that 
call that the vanishing point. Once you vanishing point is there, you start drawing so many squares around, big, small, all kinds. After you have drawn the square, all these corners, uh, the, the corner which is away from the vanishing point, you just have to ignore that. For example, this corner is away from the vanishing point, you have to ignore. Other corners, you can connect it to the uh, vanishing point. Once you do that, then you have to take your pencil and then cut it. Cut it with the judgment so that it remains a cube and doesn't look like a cuboid. So that's the exercise, right? Hello, Indrani. Indrani, you are late. You are late a bit. Tomorrow, I want to see you on time. So Hani says, can you show your drawing? Okay, I'll show my drawing. Okay, can you see this? It's not a great drawing, but at least I try to follow the techniques uh, just to show you how to do it. Yep, you start. How many squares? Around say eight to 15 squares. Uh, Rajika says no audio. Can Pradeep help Rajika? Sukhpreet says, Sir, I can't hear. Uh, all the recordings, by the way, has been put on web. What I'm going to do is all the recordings of all the sessions so far uh, is there on uh, the IFIM uh, YouTube channel. Uh, what I would do is I would share it with you. Uh, these are very low resolution recording. So there will be a lot of off sync. My lip sync won't happen because the frame rate uh, of this recording and YouTube is very different, right? So, uh, so, so, so you just have to probably ignore the off sync part and just listen to the instructions. Yes, I hope you're drawing now. And uh, you can ask any questions, any issues that you are facing while you are drawing these squares on your paper. You can just put it on the uh, chat box and I'm going to respond to that. Do you only connect two sides? You are not connecting any sides, by the way. You are connecting only the corners. Hmm? Yes, with the ones which are near to the vanishing point. Yes. If there are only two points, you're joining only two points. And if you can see three points, like three corners, you're joining these three corners, yeah? Sunil says something is confusing, two or three corners to connect. No issues, the confusion is part of the game. Uh, don't be worried about this confusion. Uh, just see uh, if you, you can, if you can draw a line without getting inside the square, if you have, only follow this, you'll be able to know whether you have to draw two lines or three lines. Yeah. You're most welcome, Inakshi. Mm, Rashmi Dosi says, yeah, yeah let, the, let it cut another square. You can actually take your pencil off a bit. Otherwise, you can just go through the square. It's okay. You can dissect other squares in between. Yes, Rashi, if, if the third corner is not connecting, that's perfectly fine. And that's the point, in fact. Pun intended. Prashant says, so far, so good. Good? Sapna is enjoying. Very nice. Anybody facing any difficulty, you can do that. Gitanjali is done. Subrina is loving this. Shalin says, please show inside a square. Oh, inside a square. Okay. Okay. Govind, can you just pull this here? Okay, other people can continue. Uh, this is for Shalin. Okay, if I have to draw inside a square, then inside a square would be, there will be lines here, like lines going inside right and there will be lines coming. even this corner can get connected right okay and this corner will get connected here 
so this is what is happening the insight of uh, this is third point this is this is happening inside this is happening outside this is the outside corner this is the inside corner yeah so but we are not drawing this because we are all, all also trying to set yeah there will be a point joining here it will continue here same thing happening here okay that's the inside but that's not important here yeah so this is just to understand thank you Shalai, for asking this because that that's going to basically help others to understand yeah. here says it's very easy i'm so happy so to draw 20 pages of this junaid sir my lines are not straight you know it's absolutely okay do not bother about the line yeah just try to make as straight as possible and that's about it it's all about your effort it's not about how what the outcome is right now uh akansha says can't draw it properly this is your first drawing it's okay if you can't draw properly by the time it's 10th drawing or 15th uh, uh 10th page or 15th page you'll be able to draw uh kushi it's your wish uh, if you want to draw inside the square you can that, that can give you a judgment but draw it lightly like you know put less pressure on the pencil pavani says finally today i did the task sorry haven't done last two days exercise galat baat har roz karo thank you so much my squares are all connecting with three lines fantastic is that okay absolutely fine no it's a place it's about placement of the square if it is on the edge line then you'll only get two points to connect if it is right on top of the vp you'll get only two points it is right below the vp you'll get only two points everywhere else you'll get three points yeah three corners to connect <laughs> and his sense of humor he says hope this exercise doesn't make me square <laughs> no i don't dalip <laughs> you'll be what you are uh sabrina are we then erasing the extra lines to the center you can you can you can erase this extra line to the center yes okay, just to keep the cubes you can it's up to your wish you know if you are comfortable with letting it like that you know once you have got the cube you can darken the lines of the cube that's one way of looking at it once you darken the lines of cube you are you are even if you're not erasing the extra lines it's absolutely fine see uh, with drawing you have to be comfortable with extra lines yeah uh, let let there be lines koi problem nahi hai let it's not it's not bothering you right just let it be slowly you will develop taste for that so use the eraser only for effects uh, not to delete anything yeah yes akansha you have to join all the square Naha says drawing is done fantastic. Superb. So we are done with 30 minutes of our class already. We have 15 more minutes. Rahman says done. What next? The next is you have to draw 20 of them by tomorrow morning before the class. Yeah. Uh, extend to 10 minutes. Okay. Before it goes off, let me extend it. Yeah. Great. So, so, so we are going to talk about only uh, one point perspective today. Uh, I expect all of you do, to do this exercise, even if you have to spend an hour or two in doing this. That's very important because tomorrow I'm going to talk about, uh, going to refresh one point perspective slightly differently, then move to two point perspective and that will get very complex. And therefore 20 sheets of this particular exercise is a must hmm? okay so no triangles no malvika <laughs> no triangles yeah uh, c 
same drawing 20 times you mean yeah the squares will be different it's a practice it's a practice you can use both side of the page you know no space in in the sheet has to remain empty Minakshi says, finally, some interesting homework after school. <laughs> Good. I'm happy that you're enjoying this. That's very important. Uh, finish looking fine. I'm not able to get the shading. Oh, shading is not important. Listen, yeah, just put two, three effects for you to understand this is the, the bottom phase or nothing else, huh? Rebecca says, could you show your drawing, please? Okay, I'll show my drawing. Again, I'll take a screenshot. You know what I'll do? I am going to email you lots of drawings, yeah? perspective drawings. Uh, so today you are going to get some email from me. Yeah, and, and I'm going to show you uh, uh, kind of because because to save time uh, and of this class, I have to do all this. Oh. Uh, Anchu says, could you please repeat the very first instruction that you gave? Sorry. Okay. Anchu, I'm my apologies because there are there are 86 participants, right? Uh, if you have come late, I request you to go through the recording of the class because I, I, I repeat usually, right? I'll repeat tomorrow morning again, but I cannot keep repeating towards the end of the class. Please try to be on time. Yeah? You're welcome, Rashmi. Kunal says, can we do it with organic shapes as well? Uh, Kunal, not not as of now. Yeah, no organic shapes. Only one, uh, uh, only one uh, 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 shape that is cube. Arpit, sir, when are we making multiple squares with single squares? The distance should be of a square. So I'm sorry. One second. Sir, when are we making multiple squares with single square? The distance should be no, 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 no. Distance is not a problem. You can have overlapping squares also. Huh? Do not bother about the distance. Just put random, small, big. More uh, vary, more variety you have, the more learning you'll actually achieve. Uh, Sunil couldn't do the shading. No worries at all. Shading is not important at all. This was only for the demonstration. Uh, all the points have to join VP only, Rashmi, yes. As of now, you don't have a choice. I'm not giving you a second vanishing point. It's only one vanishing point on the edge line, and that's about it. If it comes out perfect, you can even do it like uh, as an artwork. Fantastic. Rashmi Doshi. Join squares to each other. You can do that. My drawing is looking beautiful. Sapna, fantastic. I'm so happy. By the way, Sapna is an artist herself. Uh, she's a Madhuvani artist. Now, Madhuvani painting artist. She's from Madhuvani. She's my niece. But she always wanted to draw like this also, in the sense realistic. And I'm happy that she's here. Nahar, could you please repeat the homework? Uh, please go to the recording now. I'll end the, end the class if I repeat the homework. Okay, so this is the sheet that you see. Uh, there's an edge line, there are squares, and then there are cubes. Uh, you have to draw 20 sheets of this, not 20 squares. Every sheet will have 8 to 15. That's now hope, Nahar, that is clear to you. Can we make our sessions a bit lengthy? Uh, the, the, okay, 45. Uh, minutes is quite long for many because many people who are here are very busy people, right? Uh, if I become lengthy, that's not going to be uh, that's not going to help everybody. Yeah, I've already extended it by five minutes. I uh, so it will end at eleven twenty today, uh, but that's about it. It's okay if I overlap some of my spare. Absolutely okay, Anum. Kunal says thank you. Michelle, done, fantastic. So happy. Michelle, I've seen some of your drawings. You're doing fantastic. And uh, your mom actually sent me yesterday. Uh, Manha, done my 20 pages by tomorrow. 
of 15 different square like this superb yes this is the homework done my you know what the best learning is when you actually start teaching if you start enjoying it by the time you do 10 15 pages you have learned something new and try to teach it to somebody uh, um, at home or uh, anywhere else yeah so just just try and teach somebody so your funders will get clear the time you are actually teaching somebody yeah? and by the way anybody who wants to join even now at this stage absolutely fine yeah so so share that registration link or maybe login link so that people can uh, log in to the classes uh, and Anna says, can you give more perspective drawing ideas? Sir, tomorrow I'll give, ma'am. Not today. Yeah. Can we try different places for the vanishing point? No, 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 Sunil. Same one vanishing point only at this point. It's a single point perspective. Rasi says, this is stress buster. I'm extremely happy uh, if you find this as stress buster. But you'll even enjoy more if you put a little more stress on your eyes. I think uh, it will be even further stress buster. Yeah. Uh, Omer says that I really enjoyed it. Fantastic. Good, good, good. 85 participants. And, and I think uh, we're doing good in terms of your interest and uh, uh, homework. But homework is important. Huh? Uh, I, can, I can be a very kadoos teacher also sometimes. Okay. So good. Now, uh, what happens with the perspective? Uh, what we are going to learn, let me give you some glimpse of. Uh, so first, we are going to learn single point perspective. That's one point perspective. Uh, after a point, uh, we learn two point perspective. And then there are three point or multi point perspectives. Right? That also we are going to do. It will get a little more complex. But as of now, please understand that anything that exists, solid objects, uh, which are geometrical shapes, which are straight lines, they all exist in, in some kind of perspective. Yeah, and uh, uh, We have to crack that. And the moment you are able to crack it, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lot of joy. There's a lot of happiness. And suddenly you start looking at uh, things very differently. There are many of my ex-students who are here. Can you share your uh, experience in terms of the first time when you cracked perspective? Pratik or Tanmay or anybody else? who has been part of this uh, perspective classes in the past. Um, anyway, you can always post it. People can uh, share that, uh, see that. And I want you to experience that yourself. Um, suddenly, you start seeing spaces very, very differently. Uh, one of the beautiful outcomes that, that, that is intended uh, is uh, once you attend a few sessions of this, your eyes will open up uh, to new things. The same things you will start seeing it so differently that uh, your world will change actually. And I'm not exaggerating at all. Uh, what happens is uh, people sometimes stay alone. Uh, there are moments when they start feeling bored. Uh, and you say like, I'm, I'm getting bored, right? You'll never ever actually get bored in your life the time your eyes are open, right? Even if you are alone in your own room, in your own room, there are objects which are so much of drawing, so much of uh, beauty in that, you'll be able to enjoy that. You know, training to an extent that you do not actually have to go uh, travel around the world to see the so-called beauty, uh, uh, beauty of the world, right? That's a different kind of beauty, definitely, but if your eyes are trained, you'll be you'll find uh, beauty in uh, even this, like a, a piece of charcoal uh, or an eraser, right? Beauty everywhere. A button, you'll see beauty in a button. <laughs> so oh, that's 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 how it is. So I I want uh, like you you to train your eyes accordingly. Yeah. Okay, uh, what is homework? I could not because also I'm not repeating my homework now. Mm. Superb, superb. Now I think we are towards the end. Any specific questions if you have, you just ask me and I'm going to now sign off. Uh, 
somebody enjoy that good enjoying is important anything that you do in life if you enjoy you learn faster yeah okay so can i give another demo i have 4 minutes 4 minutes what do i do for 4 minutes i'll show you some drawings no Thank you, Gogan. Okay. So for those who came late, and and let me share a bit of what exactly we did today. Uh, took a piece of paper. Then we first we did was. Do can I draw a pencil? Gogan, do you have pencil? Just just a minute. Huh? Four minutes, and I'll I'll show you uh, how. Uh, We have started. No issues. We'll draw this. Thank you. Okay. First, what we did was I'm drawing a pencil now. We did a horizontal line. It's visible. It's not visible much. Come closer. Okay, so first this is a horizontal line, yeah. Then you have to figure out some point in between. That's called the vanishing point, yeah. Now what I'm doing is I am drawing squares of different size at different places, yeah. Just just squares where you have your vertical lines and horizontal lines in place, yeah. Okay, can people see? Yep. There, you can make smaller ones also, tiny ones also. You can make bigger ones also. Let's see what happens. Let's have variety, huh? And then you have this, and then you have this. Okay. Now what I'm doing is, now th this is another technique of going about. If you enjoy this, do this. Just connect all the points, not three points, two points. Connect all the points, yeah. Just another point, and connect this point also. Okay, connect this point also. Why not? Let's see. Let's go. Why should other points have all the fun? Yeah. So <laughs> now this is done. Now what you have to do is you darken these lines. Huh? The square you darken it. Once you have darkened it, then you have to have a judgment vertically. You have to cut it at some point of time so that it looks like a cube and not a cuboid. This is the fun part. Yeah? Once you have done this, then put a little strokes here just to make it un for yourself, for your own satisfaction, just to separate from the other dimension. That this is how it's. That's about it. This fourth line you can draw or you may avoid. Same thing with all this. You have to draw these lines connecting all of them. Yeah. Then you have to cut it. Cut. Again, join this. Join the other point. This will go through the square. No problem with that, huh? Then you, again, you cut it in a place. Yeah. Same thing with all the lines. All the lines that you see, all the corners, in fact. Yeah. So you join this, join this, and this. Here will get two point rule. You can join these points also. It's no problem. That's not important. Then you have to. Okay, so that you got a cube here. See, look at this. The cube that you got. Now you can do this. See your. Yeah. Just just play with it. You'll, you'll you'll play and you'll have a lot of fun. Yeah. Yep. So that was the exercise. Uh, top also you have to kind of sorry connect it with the this line this line this line and then cut it properly so that for today and i hope you enjoyed right now you have eight four people that's online 
20 pages of this yes you have to draw yeah superb so with this we are finishing on time it's 11 15 and time to say goodbye stay safe stay at home keep drawing uh keep sending feedback also right now now the thing that i have promised i am giving you my number uh do not send more than five uh, uh pictures of what you draw right you can send me at any point of time there's no time limit you can send me in the afternoon evening even at night uh i will respond whenever i have time i go through that and i'll respond if you're going wrong somewhere right so we have to do is click a picture if you have a software called cam scanner like cs cam scanner then that will actually clean up the dirt like in the sense it will it almost scans it scans the drawing and then uh, then i will be able to see that yeah uh if not then send me normal pictures put it under the light click pictures keep, uh, keep your sketchbook vertical or at the bottom click good pictures and then send it back to me yeah i am sharing my number with all of you and uh, use that okay okay my god there's so many messages i missed just a minute skyscraper anshu one thing those no vanishing point can be in different eye level only one eye level as the center of the page you're welcome girija ji mm. superb okay tomorrow's time same time every day we are going to have the same time this is interesting finish three sets snigda i'm so happy you are able to do three sets now uh okay shit i miss i have to go through all these messages huh prashant says i used to run away from perspective class couldn't understand it so simply before abcd thank you okay so i have shared my number i missed so many messages my apologies uh 9824026069 is my number and uh, you can note down you can save this number and uh, i'll respond i'll i'll definitely respond within few hours of you sending it to me right but do not get tempted to share everything that you draw right where do you more than what you achieve i think if you have difficulty in something and you want to know how how to sort this out then probably it, it makes more sense uh, to send it to me right and if you just want seeking uh, appreciation then you just pat your own back and then keep doing it yeah superb so i i am done with the class today thank you all of you it's 11:19 i have exceeded by 4 minutes apologies for that take care and have a very nice day hope to see you all tomorrow morning uh with 20 drawings huh? take care bye everybody how to say